Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Salty Nerds Talk About Invasion Season 1. Yes, the hard butter of TV shows is back <laughs> for a Season 2, and we're going to be recovering it. But first, we want to do a quick recap about Season 1 just to mostly refresh our memories because this uh, show came out two years ago, and we blocked most of it from our memory. So uh, this is mostly just to get us caught up. But if you want to get caught up as well, uh, we are all here. So Matt Vader 74 is sober and yeah. therefore more prepared to talk about yeah. this than usual. Well, I don't know about that, <laughs> but, you know, I am sober today. Yes. Yeah. So and, of course, cool. we have the ambassador of estrogen, Ju Juju. Oh, hello. And Alex decided to uh, leave the country yeah. to avoid talking about this show. Uh -huh. So we have our, our uh, fill-in guy, uh, Conspiracy Tom, here who has not watched any of this show. He watched one episode. Yeah. So. I watched one episode three years ago. <laughs> I forgot it even existed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, so remember. he's going to have a lot to uh, contribute to the conversation. <laughs> so uh, let's start talking about this. So you know what I did last night? What did you do last night? Um, so Kadish and I started, because well, we were like, we need to like what, just... What, what were you wearing when you did it? <laughs> <laughs> Sweatpants. Uh, <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> my Slytherin PJ pants. Okay. Um, That's awesome, actually. So <laughs> Uh, so Kadish and I were like, okay, we have to recap season one of Invasion. I think most of us blocked it out. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh God, do we have to watch? We have to rewatch season one. <laughs> so instead, we just rewatched our yeah. show. Yeah. And I finished it last he, night. He told me when I came in about a half hour ago, I was like, yeah, we watched all of our reviews. Yeah. It's like, dude, I didn't watch our reviews after we recorded them. I, do, I like, usually don't. No fucking way. I usually don't. <laughs> but I was like, God, I, I'm not sure that I am prepared to recap. An yeah. entire season, and yeah. I was like, I can't put myself through watching I'm, the actual show I'm, again. I rem like it brought back so oh, many God. visceral memories of like just the way we we were depressed and <laughs> disparaged yeah. and discouraged. Like when we were going through the watching of that well, show, and I was like, Oh, good, season two. Can't I wait. remember what I remember about this show is that Alex was super pumped. Oh my God, he was a sweet summer Cause, child. Because his hero is in yeah, the show. Yeah. You know, his 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 dinosaur scientist, you know, oh, I worship at your foot. Uh, uh -huh. You know what? And uh, he's he's in the first episode and they kill him. Yeah. Never again. Now, I did recently learn that, uh, what's his name? Sam Neill. Sam, Sam Neill, Neill yeah. apparently was was ill, sick. He, he had a cancer. cancer diagnosis. And this was about the same time that they were filming this show. So I'm going to give him a pass. But what I'm not going to give them a pass for is they they marketed this entire yeah. first season of this show with him. He's in everything. He's on the posters. He's in the commercials. He's in the the, the teaser. Everything about he's this fucking show. He's in the marketing show. for season two too. He, it, it was he is. Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe he came back somehow <laughs> from the dead. It's just but, a, it's just a poster of him missing. Yeah, but it was just I was. We got gaslit so hard yeah. with this guy. Sam Neill was not in season one, no. uh, outside the first episode. Yeah. And they gaslit the hell out of us. They really did. And um, I felt honestly kind of bad for Alex because I felt like he was like personally hurt <laughs> by the Well, it, it was his idea to review the show mm -hmm. yeah. based off of the fact that Sam Neill was involved in it. And uh, at the end of the first episode, it was kind of funny watching like our slow decline in, oh, into yeah. like apathy. Mm -hmm. Over the course of that season, mm -hmm. as we were rewatching our reviews, but, but Alex took it especially hard yeah. because, like, there was just one episode with his his actor in it, and then like after that, it was just mm -hmm. like, nope. It was nothing. crazy to watch the progression of like, okay, first episode, yes, it was very boring, but like, <laughs> so Alex being like, I'm still really excited for it. I can't uh -huh. wait to see what they're gonna do with this, and then flash forward a couple of episodes, and he's just like, <sighs> who cares? Yeah, and then like flash forward to like like the last two or three episodes and we're all just like enough already. I don't want to do this anymore. And like for, for like two straight episodes, we were all like, we're not watching season two. Yep, we're yep. never going to do it. And then on our last episode, we were like, Oh shit, we have to do season two. Yep. Don't we? And now here we are. But here's what I do remember. I remember, um, we truly earned the name, the salty nerd podcast yeah. during that series, because you know, we've this Alex named the show, right? And I, I, there's a lot of stuff that we watch that we're just not salty about. We like, you, mm -hmm. you, you know, but we, we, we sit here, we drink and we get a little toasty and we, we talk some shit. But for that, that show for the first time, I was 
annoyed and salty the entire run. And, mm-hmm. and it brought something out, I think, in all of us to where we learned to like funnel our, our inner snark. And it, it showed we, we, we gained followers. Yeah. We, we gained a following for our show for based on our hatred of invasion. Right. You know, it's like, oh, I love your guys' reviews. It's way better than, than the show is. <laughs> it, it truly, it yeah, was. It was easier got, to stomach our reviews of the show than it was to go back and rewatch well, it. One of the weird things about this show that I think if they, if, if anyone out there watching this hasn't watched season one needs to be aware of, mm-hmm. there are bad TV shows mm-hmm. that are fun to make fun of. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you know, shows that are like so bad that like they're almost entertaining. Like, like mm-hmm. C, for instance. Uh-huh. Like, like when you're watching C, C's a bad show. But it's fun to watch because it's... Because it's so ridiculous. There's a, there's yeah. a level of ridiculous campiness to it that makes it a fun watch. Exactly. And the, the problem with Invasion Season 1 is that it takes itself so seriously. Uh-huh. It's so freaking pretentious in, mm-hmm. the, in the sense that like they're like, I, we're making high art here. Yeah. yeah. Um, and literally, like the pacing of the show is slower than a snail. Yep. Mm-hmm. It, it's like... You watch an entire episode and it feels like you sat through an eight-hour marathon of yeah. something. And the stuff that happens in the episodes are so stupid. Remember that time that kid took like three full minutes to almost touch his dead yeah. mother's hand? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, there's lots of stuff like that in, in the show. Uh, Storylines that really go nowhere. No characters way. that don't really matter that you get spend a lot of time with. Lots of Ch- stuff gets char- dropped. Characters that they try to get you to feel apathy for that you feel nothing but disdain for. Like like, like a piece of shit for his his whole family. I don't mm-hmm. care about his almost whole every main character in the show was an asshole. Yeah, like, yeah. like completely like unable to identify with mm-hmm. any of these characters, nope. especially Travante. Really unlikable characters that are supposed to have like an arc, and then by the time they die, maybe you're like, I don't care. I yeah. don't care. And also like the actual invasion itself with like the aliens and stuff like that. It's uh-huh. it's so pushed into the background that you don't even even know what's happening until like at the end of the season when they tell you like oh they were terraforming stuff and all these people died and all this stuff and you were like why couldn't we see any of that stuff right. mm-hmm. you know like like it, it was a very it, it gives the term slow burn a bad name yeah but yeah. It, was, it was as if they came up with that like towards the end of the season and they were like oh shit you know what we should do terraforming because it was literally never mentioned until like well, the last second to the last or third to the last episode. Yeah, I, but, I, I, mean, I have no issue with the whole terraforming arc because I think that's what any alien species is going to really want to do. If you, I mean, if, if we go out into space someday, we're going out to terraform and colonize another planet so, well, the, and, and rob it of its resources because we're doing that to this one. But the thing but, is, is that there's a, there's a difference between a deliberately paced mm-hmm. TV series and a series that's slow as molasses and boring. Mm -hmm. So like for, I like to call up this um, example where if you ever watch The Wire on HBO, the first season is very slow, but about seven episodes in, there's a switch that gets flicked and all of a sudden, like it becomes an amazing show because all the, the slow deliberate pacing up to that point was building towards something that you didn't realize until it happened. And I can remember watching that show and just kind of like suffering through it. And I'm a completionist, so I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to finish the, se- the season. And then like when it hit episode seven, like I was like, holy crap, like <laughs> the show's amazing. I'm trying to watch that show more than once and I can never get past the first yeah, I episode. Need, I, I need a, when I start a series, if if I'm not hooked in the first couple episodes, I'm not watching. I'm the same way. Yeah. So. And, and one of the issues I think with Invasion was the fact that it was a week to week thing. So like they dropped the first three episodes, um, uh, right at the beginning of the season, like Apple usually does. Mm-hmm. And then like it, it's a weekly drop. And the problem with this show is that it was so slow mm-hmm. and so very little happened in each episode that it became difficult to tune in every week. Yeah. And, and it was kind of funny because like when the show started, a lot of different YouTubers were covering the show yeah. and, mm-hmm. in addition to us. Everybody and, and by the end of the season, like we were the only ones like <laughs> still reviewing well, it. I... After we got going, I just kind of got to the point, and this, I'm trying to I'm trying to get myself into the same mental space for season two. It's like I look forward more to discussing it with our group and with our chat than I than than I did watching the show, and so I just kind of used it as um, as a reason for us 
to do what we do. You know, not that we need a reason for us to do what we do, but um, I had a genuinely, I had a genuine good time talking about this show mm-hmm. with you guys. It was other, like we other, were each other, other's support group. Yeah. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise I wouldn't, I would have been out after this second episode, but you, you know, I, I, we say we're going to do something and we're going to do it. Yeah. You, you know, um, I don't want to watch season two. Me I, I have no desire <laughs> to watch this piece of shit show anymore. I, I don't want to even give it any. I think Alex is any, still holding out a little yeah. bit of hope that it I'm might I'm going to go to better. Scotland. You guys can do the first two episodes. Yeah, but he's, he's like, like okay. what if it got better? And we're like, bro, there's no way. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, it could, so I guess. It was funny because when, when we were reviewing it, it premiered in 2020, mm-hmm. right? And no, 2021. Mm. And, uh, as we were watching it, we we're like, oh, yeah, when uh, when season two comes out in 2023 and here it is, 2023, yeah. and it's yeah, like coming out. We were out. joking. And was, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we were joking. We were like, what do you think you are? House of the Dragon can take two years off, know. you know? But there is the possibility that the people making the show heard our criticisms <laughs> and maybe <laughs> course corrected. So much credit. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying they did, but I'm saying there's a possibility that they did and and Listen, got got the feedback and decided I, to lightning make some does changes. not strike in the same place twice. This, we just, had that with C. Yeah. We're never going to have that again. Well, we we kind of have that with Warrior as well, but it's the same people. It's the same people. But, it's the same. But I mean, but there is no doubt in my mind that somebody involved with this show has seen some of our reviews. It, it, there's, it, they have to have. It, it's, it's, the internet is a big place, buddy. It's, but it doesn't take. Well, that much. I mean, when you search on YouTube for invasion, yeah. like we we come up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, but um, the the weird thing about this is that going into this season two, we're coming off of reviewing what's arguably one of the best seasons of TV we've mm-hmm. seen, which is Warrior Season 3 yeah. Yeah. on HBO Max. I'm sorry, Max. Um, so it, it, be salty. Yeah, uh. so it, it, it's going to be a quite quite a gear shift <laughs> going, going from Warrior Season 3, mm-hmm. which was fantastic, to Invasion Season 2. What, but again, I'm going to throw this out there. Okay. What if it's good? What if it's good? What you know? What if? What have if, you learned nothing? But what I'm I like is, you, but like, you're crazy. It's like I look at, I watched the, the the teaser trailer. There's some action. There's some. There's some, you know, you got your your blo- your black blobs out there murdering and killing people. And I guess that's like in the first like two minutes of the of the, the series. The, the fridge squids. The fridge squids. The the black blob of. You called them refrigerator <laughs> crawlers last that, last week. Yeah, well, last that's kind of what they are. Um. Uh. I, I just want to see some more alien stuff. I, I w- it won't take a lot to make me happy. I just want to see some chaos and mayhem and some some Armageddon destruction. Some you, more Starro. Some oh the, the giant squid thing. Yeah, that'd be pretty dope. <laughs> but um, I want I want more action and less um, of piece of shit's family eating hamburgers at the abandoned diner. <laughs> and Trevante He's just like, yelling you. at everyone yeah. in every episode. So, so so let's recap some of the characters yeah. um, for the series just so. We can refresh ourselves and the audience so that they know who we're talking about. So um, the the first big one that we're going to talk about is the piece of shit family. Yeah, uh, which is the I don't ma- even know his name. It's so, just piece of shit. Well, of shit. well, the matriarch is Anisha Malik. Uh-huh. She's the uh, former Harvard educated doctor. She's Mrs. Piece of Shit. Yes, she's Mrs. Piece of Shit. So she Doctor quit, Mrs. Piece of Shit. She she quit. Yeah, PhD. Uh, she quit her <laughs> job as a doctor to be a wife and mother. Mm-hmm. And in the first season, um, we. Uh, come to realize that uh, her husband, who we've just dubbed piece of shit because his character was one of the worst characters we've ever seen on TV, yeah. uh, was cheating on her. Well, the show opens up with them like, well, let's, let's wake up daddy. And all the kids come in and jump yeah. on the bed and they're having like a tickle torture. And they're everyone's laughing and being like, don't we have the most marvelous life? And immediately it cuts to like, he's been cheating on her. He uh, has gotten this other girl pregnant uh, and he wants yeah. to abandon them immediately. Like it, it, it's a hard switch from most wonderful husband and father to worst human being. Yeah. I, I mean, within the span of like maybe like one episode, he literally tries to abandon his entire family. Like we're talking yeah. wife, daughter yeah. and In son. In front of them. He he tries to like jump in the neighbor's car while his kids are watching. Yeah. So um the uh, character piece of shit um in the in the show his name is Ahmed Malik. Okay. And it's kind of funny cuz like when the initial alien kind of crash happens in his neighborhood everyone's like uh, all the white people in the neighborhood are like, "Oh, uh, they're terrorists. 
you know, like the, yeah, the, the, they're, these, they're these people like, are, are they're like, it, why didn't your house blow up? Yeah, you, yeah. you must be in on it. Yeah, you must you must be in with the terrorists who yeah. just did this, and it, it was just so cringy and eye rolling, mm-hmm. and uh, also. Uh, as if piece of shit wasn't douchey enough, he drives a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> and he you just alienated all the Tesla drivers that watch the show. Uh, well, <laughs> Tesla drivers. Uh, but uh, so like he can't get his Tesla to work because I guess he like he doesn't know how to operate it. And so of course like his wife. Because he's a douchebag. Because he's a he's douchebag. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, his wife has to call up her iPhone app and, and control the car that way. Mm-hmm. And then to, to make matters worse is like when uh, they have to stop and recharge the Tesla because it takes like I don't know, like 20 minutes to uh, recharge a, yeah. a Tesla battery. And there's only like one charging station in like all of New York. Uh, <laughs> she she steals a minivan from another family yeah. and just leaves them stranded at this gas station. And it's like, uh, are we supposed to like empathize with them? Right. Like, 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 like she literally just did something that piece of shit would have done. It's just a family making hard choices. Yeah. Um, Tom, what do you think about piece of shit and his family? Uh, no, I don't know much about it. Uh, fill me in. Um, it's it sounds like an interesting show. <laughs> well, you're wrong. No, it's bad. It's, not, it's, it's awful. bad. Most Apple TV shows aren't very good. That's not true. Well, we all like Foundation, sort of. No. I like Foundation. No, don't see, it's a, it's a sort of. It's a sort of. I really like Foundation. Yeah, yeah it's a sort. It's a, and, and I'm like on the fence. It's fine. I'm <laughs> I'm interested in the next season. Um, but what else did Apple TV do? They did uh, Servants. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Big Door Prize. Silo. Silo. I hear Silo is good. You guys keep telling me about it. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. I don't think I have Apple TV anymore. Oh, okay. I might. I don't. I have your your three month uh, free from buying a new phone. I've got 20 streaming services, man. (laughs) I I, I have trouble keeping up with all this shit. I really do. All right. So, but getting back to things. So, piece of shit (laughs) and his family, uh, basically, they find this, um, this house in the middle of nowhere with a couple. They get attacked by aliens. We think piece of shit dies. Unfortunately, he doesn't. Oh, this guy and his ability yeah. to keep surviving. And, and ba- basically, we just follow this family that like we just hate. Like, like they, they have no redeeming values. Even, yeah. the, even the children are terrible. And uh, by the end of the season, we have a uh, piece of shit junior, Poss Jr., mm-hmm. basically, uh, throwing away the one weapon that we know can actually kill aliens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the show starts off, like all of the kids in the classroom all get bloody noses except for piece of shit. Piece of, piece of shit junior and like by the end of the season we're all like oh what does it mean what does it mean what does it mean does, doesn't mean anything oh, he just happens to have this piece of metal in his backpack that can kill the aliens but then he decides it's not worth the trouble of other people for yeah. some reason when, being mad that he has it and so he tosses a, a, it Anisha who actually killed the alien with this like metal alien Shard, shiv yeah. Yeah, doesn't bother to tell the military about it but then, like, once she does, once she remembers, like, oh, this might be important, yeah. uh, there's this, like, random group of, like, Dicker gerbs, uh, you know, like, like, these, like weekend this warriors. Random group of hillbillies. Hillbillies who, 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 who seem this to. a perfect picture. Who, Thank who, you, yeah. Matthew. <laughs> who seem to think that, like, the military having this weapon isn't a good idea and they mm-hmm. want it for themselves because they want the aliens to win for some reason. It, it was never fully explained mm-hmm. where what? these people came from or why they were doing what they were doing. But at the end of the day, piece of shit is killed. Again. Again. Mm-hmm. But like we never see the it's body. It happens off screen. Yeah. I don't buy it. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that I keep waiting does. for somebody to get body snatched. I think I said it in every every one of our reviews last this year. Is I was a lot like, of body I was like, I need someone to get body snatched Sam, because why are Sam you Neal. making them be such epic pieces of shit? And I, I just thought, oh, well, this character is so horrible that when he gets body yeah. snatched and he's nice, we're going to know. No, none of that happened. He th- just dies a couple of times. I think they're going, I think they body snatched uh, Sam Neill. I think I think they're oh, lo- I think I think they're lo- I hope so. I think they're uh, low cue to see him. I think oh. gonna, he's going to come back and be the the mouth of uh, the piece of shit. Uh, I watched some of this. People. Yeah, yeah, Sam yeah, Neill's yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched. No, he was not. in the first episode. <laughs> okay, well that's what I watched. Yeah, yeah. I watched the very first episode. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, it. that's, that's all. That's all, all I watched. That's yeah. all I watched. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. And uh, I also <laughs> seem to remember. Maybe I'm wrong, but didn't didn't piece of shit Junior have like weird dreams or something in the beginning? No, I think that was the other kid. Casper. Casper. Oh, okay. Casper. Yeah, what, we're going to get to him. Who, so, uh, who's naming all these people? Piece oh, of shit. Good. Casper. Our, our <laughs> fans did it. We did it. Yeah. So, our next character is um, Trevante Cole. Ugh, this guy. He, he He's an American military <laughs> soldier in Afghanistan. And uh, basically, he is the biggest jerk you'll ever meet. 
And uh, his whole storyline is his entire squad gets wiped out by aliens. And so he wants to get back home to his girl, girlfriend slash fiance who, who uh, they had a child together and the child died. And so like he went to fight terrorists oh, in order yeah. to get over it. But he gets really pissed off that the uh, everyone air, that the airplane that he <laughs> kind of hijacked only went to Britain instead of all London. the way back to the I don't United States. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he eventually <laughs> uh, meets up with another character named Casper, and uh, he has to protect Casper while Casper mind melds with Casper's the aliens. Casper's a kid. That's right. Yeah. Casper's Casper got has superpowers. seizures. I am That's really right. enjoying this recap. <laughs> it's terrible. This is the most nonsensical storyline. Well, and he's got an uh, an art book full of drawings. That's right. I am remembering that, this now. Uh, Casper or uh, Travante recognizes as shit that happened to him while he was at war. They're connected. They're connected. I love it. Connected. I love it. Maybe it's also his son. No. It ends up not going anywhere or Damn. mattering. <laughs> like the whole rest of the show. Yeah. It sounds like a lot of like Lost, where they yeah. like they, they they tease you. And then they're like, ah. I'm, I'm <laughs> convinced that this show was written by Chat GPT 1.2. We, we, we even said that would be badass. We, you even yeah. said that when in our initial reviews, yeah. where you're like, this 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 series feels like an AI generated it does like story because mm -hmm. like it doesn't understand how physics works. Yeah, it doesn't understand how human beings oh interact with each other. Speaking of physics, can we talk about? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We we'll get to that. Talk about? But but for, first, I want to talk about Casper. Uh, so Casper is a young man, teenager in the UK. It's probably like 12, 13. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's kind of an outcast, and he's kind of nerdy. And he likes this girl, and he listens to an old audio tape Walkman yeah. type thing. Uh, and he only listens to 90s, um, like, hip-hop tunes. Well, uh, this kid's clearly a weirdo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 90s is in, man. Yeah. I went to a nightclub. Well, this sounded well, really well, funny. Not that long ago. <laughs> and they were playing, like, Fleetwood Mac. And, I'm, and, and the kids are, like, dressed in Nirvana t-shirts and yeah. Jinko jeans and just having a blast. They're, just, they're mixing their decades with their, with their hair parted down the middle. Mm. I, I don't... It was gross. Well, the, the <laughs> thing about Casper is that he's so poor that he can only listen to the tape that came with the Walkman, which just oh happens to have all, like, the 90s tunes on it. But his bus, basically, like, he's going on a field trip with his classmates and uh, a Russian satellite crashes and drives them into the biggest sinkhole you've yeah. ever seen in your oh, life. Oh, they just right off it, too. Yeah, and, and all the kids are fine, but, like, the teacher's dead. Yeah. And so, like, there's a like a slight Lord of the Flies type thing where well, you have you a bully. Well, you think that's gonna happen, and then as soon as it gets started, they all, they all just go, "Why don't we just climb out?" And then they do. Yeah, they they spend like eight episodes just kind of yeah. like walking through the countryside, oh, like no, nothing no. happening. Uh, but they make it back to um, to London, mm -hmm. and Casper decides after seeing his mom dead and almost touching her hand for a full three minutes. Yeah, um, <laughs> basically says like, "Hey, just, uh, hey, these seizures I've been having." They have a psychic connection to the aliens, and so if I can induce a seizure, I might be able to stop this invasion. And so his uh, his friend who's been with him the entire time, she's like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. My mom works at the hospital. Let's go there. Yeah. And then on their way to the hospital, they run into the military like fighting these aliens, mm -hmm. and they find Travante in a bar. He's just to, drunk. Yeah, he, He's he, over it. Yeah, yeah. He, he just gave up after the, the most awkward transatlantic phone call from a phone booth uh, ever made. Oh my God, don't even. That's not how it works. Yeah. And, and so, like, they convinced Travante to, like, help them save the world by taking them to I don't the know why they even want Travante to go with them because he's an asshole. Yeah. They walk into this bar and they're like, oh, sir, sir, because he's in his uniform. They're like, please help us. We, we, we've been through some shit. We've seen some shit. I have a psychic connection. I think I have a, a way to fight it. And then Travante's just like, the fuck are you saying, kid? <laughs> And yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, yeah, he seems like the guy to help. Yeah, he's the biggest asshole to yeah. everyone, especially the people who help him. Mm -hmm. I, like, there are many times throughout this the show where like people help Travante out, and he's just like the biggest jerk to them, like not grateful at all. Um, but basically, they take Casper to the hospital, and when uh, he starts making contact with the aliens, the aliens are like, oh, this is a danger, so they send all their uh, fridge crawlers uh, that way. And basically, uh, Travante has to protect Casper long enough for him to like you know, stop the aliens. Mind meld. Uh, but Casper never gets a chance to stop the aliens because the U.S. government nukes them out of the sky and kills all the aliens. Um, but as that's happening, uh, Casper seemingly dies. Mm -hmm. But it turns out that his consciousness is actually in the upside down, and he's mm -hmm. part of the alien um, hive mind now. Yeah. Um, 
So he has a weird connection with a character named Hinata, <coughs> who is a, a Japanese female astronaut for JASA, the Japanese space organization. You guys are bouncing around so much. No, right that's now. how this show goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm, I'm just listening to him this ramble on about this show. This is the only way to talk this about show this show. <laughs> because I, I'm, I'm already bored and don't care. It's like insane uh, nicknames uh, and references yeah. from other shows. And I'm uh -huh. like, okay, I'm following you. <laughs> Excuse me. Every time you look like, oh, that sounds cool, I'd want to go, no, Tom. Uh, no, 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 no. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Kanish only makes it sound interesting. <laughs> That's what it is. So uh, one of the other main characters is Mitsuki Yamoto who is one of the genius kind of like JASA mm -hmm. technicians. She's, she's so cool. She's also the lesbian lover of Hinata. Lesbianism. Yeah, and when, yes. when Hinata goes, <laughs> goes up into space, uh, her space shuttle gets wrecked by the aliens, uh -huh. and uh, Mitsuki becomes obsessed with trying to figure out if like what happened and if uh, Hinata is actually alive. And uh, so she does a lot of stuff that... Makes zero sense. Well, it makes sense in the sense that like, the Japanese government should be supporting her in doing this because it's all very smart. No, she like uploads a bunch of TikTok videos. Well, I mean, it, it gets ridiculous. Yeah. But at this point, um, she's the only character in the show that's actually like doing something proactive that has to do with the main storyline. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the issue here is that when we start getting into what happened to uh, Hinata, all concept of physics and common sense goes out the window. Yeah. There's a scene in this that broke all of us yeah. when we saw it. Yeah. Do, do you want to describe it? Swimming in space. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Overhead stroke. No, she's doing one of these. Yeah. She's doing a breath breaststroke mm -hmm. in space. And as you know, that is how space travel works. Yeah. It's physics. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> at, at some point a, after Hinata, who did not have any type, any type of spacesuit on, gets blown out into the atmosphere. Yeah, she had her space suit on. No, she did not. Um, like when the uh, rupture happened in the space vessel, like she was not in any of her uh, oh. spacewalking outfit. Well, she was swimming, she hey, did. It, yes. It does, so, it like, so magically, she somehow gets a <laughs> space suit on and then she swims, literally swims, to the remains of the space shuttle mm -hmm. just in time to see all the TikTok videos that uh, Mitsuki uploaded that Hanada had made before she left Earth. And, uh, and they were bizarre. It's just like Hanada going, look, this is a tree. Why <laughs> would anyone who isn't an alien say that? So it's, it's Hanada in, in front of her camera in her home studio in the nightgown eating cereal for dollars. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> a thing. I, I know. It's unfortunately a thing. She was mukbanging. She's mukbanging for dollars. On, on on Twitter. A, say, say that term again. Mukbang. Muk I don't know what that Muk is, but I don't like it. <laughs> it sounds gross. Yeah. It sounds like my foot got stuck in something, and I don't like it. It's a mukbang. Yeah. It, it's, it's a whole genre of people who yeah. like to overeat on TikTok. It's a thing. This is ASRM. This is, this is like the it's, evolution. There's, there's a little bit of that. Yeah. It's just eating. It's like it's like me eating a piece of fried chicken <laughs> like that in the microphone. I find that upsetting. I don't want it. <laughs> But, oh, I got some videos to show you later. But M M Mitsuki <laughs> makes contact with Hanada, and Hanada only says "wajo," mm -hmm. uh, which is a a kind of cryptic term that we've heard from people who have contact with the aliens throughout the season, the, the series. And everyone at JASA, along with the U.S. military, is like, "Oh, she must be a body snatcher. Uh, we can't trust uh, whoever's communicating with Mitsuki." And so they cut her off. And Mitsuki's like, "But that was Hanada." My lesbian lover is alive in outer space. And uh, they're like, well, can you prove it? And then at that point, the David Bowie song that they first hooked up to starts playing over the radio. And she's like, see, see, it's really Hanada. And everyone's used to bang to this. <laughs> and everyone's like, you're crazy, girl. Get the hell out of here. Take a nap on a huge satellite dish and uh, chill out. So speaking of Wajo, I have to pause for a moment because Wajo. I got the most hilarious uh, comment on a TikTok that I put up. Uh, two years ago when we were talking about this, I just got this comment yesterday. It's from Yama Zondra commented, Wajo means castle in Japanese, as in the mothership was so big it looked like a castle. Google is a thing. Wow. <laughs> Thank God for the internet. <laughs> Man, I love, I love our chat sometimes. <sighs> Well, the, the level of well actually has really increased wah, wah, in the last two years. Yeah. Um, so the, the final 
character that we need to talk about is, of course, Jim Bell Tyson, mm. who's still dead. He's dead. Still dead. Yeah. So that was Sam Neill's character. <clears throat> and at the end of every episode, we were kept we kept expecting him to like pop back up and say, like, it was all a dream. How or, does like, Sam Neill die immediately, but piece of shit just keeps surviving things? Yeah, like like he has multiple lives. It's it's quite funny. Um, but uh, so Sam Neill only had one episode in which uh, we were uh, exposed to him. And it was uh, actually a pretty interesting storyline because he's a retiring sheriff in Oklahoma, Earth, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, Earth, Oklahoma. Earth, Earth, Oklahoma. Earth, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, and they never made it clear whether or not any of these other storylines took place on somewhere other than Earth. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's that's a nice little twist. I think you're reaching. Yeah, but it's, it's yeah. a nice twist. Settle down. You guys know the Earth is flat, right? There's, Shut there's, up. There's no Shut outer space. Up. Just don't don't even. I have to deal with one of those assholes at work. It's like he just pokes me with a fork once in a while. You know the Earth is flat, right? No, shut the fuck up. It's not flat, idiots. So <laughs> you don't know that. I do know that. You don't. Yes, know that. I certainly do. So so the <laughs> the funny thing about Jim Bell Tyson's storyline <laughs> is that he's a retiring sheriff. And he starts investigating like these like little local crimes that are kind of like hinting at the alien invasion starting. Yeah. And you think as you're watching the first episode, like, oh, he's going to be the guy kind of uncovering the mystery of like who these aliens are and stuff like that. It's like, no, Mm-mm. he leaves his retirement party early and gets shanked in the base of the skull by an alien and just dies. Yeah. And he gets doesn't come back. Gets sucked into sand and oh, yeah, there's, just never to there's, be seen again. He gets sucked into the, the crop circle or yeah. some shit, right? Yeah. He's coming back. Maybe. He's going he's to come back with like a look, look, look I told situation. you they're look yeah. him. He's yeah. going to be the mouth of the w- yeah. refrigerator. He's going to have a wire coming out of his yeah. head. Nah, and nah, a nah. brain floating above yeah, him. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that'd be very cool. But the U.S. government uses um, Mitsuki's uh, communication with Hanada to kind of triangulate where the alien mothership is. And so they fire a nuke up into orbit and hit it <laughs> just as Casper freezes them so that uh, like they're unable to respond. And that kills all the aliens who are invading Earth. And everyone thinks, oh, Earth is saved, which leads us to our final character, which is Drunken High Monk with the, the free Wi-Fi. Oh, geez. Uh, I forgot about this yeah, yeah. guy. Yeah. He was the best character in the series. He was introduced in the final episode. And uh, he really likes potato chips. Yeah. Who cares? Nobody. I mean, you guys are really wait. selling Nobody. it for me. <laughs> no, but see, that's the whole thing. The show is it's useless. This, we could be talking about... Fucking Mork and Mindy reruns. It, it mm. doesn't matter. The whole thing about this show is just us getting together and making fun of it. That's fine. I, I don't give a shit about any of this show. Oh, I forgot to make the Wajo Martinis Ugh, for this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink them. They're nasty. <laughs> it's, it's like, then you put like licorice and it was you like anise, soak yeah. like gummy bears and absinthe hey, be careful with that word. for like three <laughs> days. And it's like, what? It was, yeah, it was gross. So um, basically, the season ends with the reveal that there are a lot more huge motherships mm-hmm. that are now in Earth's orbit. Mm-hmm. Like the, castles. Yeah, the one that they shot out of the um, sky landed in the Amazon rainforest, and the government's there trying to figure out you know, who these aliens are and what they want. And uh, basically, all the characters that we spent all this time with are just fucking off doing nothing. Mm-hmm. I, can't, um, I can't wait till Will Smith and... Uh, um, Comes in and flies a ship into the mothership. No, it's, with, just, it's just Jaden with with a, with a <laughs> nuclear with a nuclear bomb strapped uh, to it. Just, yeah. uh, Bill Pullman. That'd be pretty yeah. cool. I mean, yeah. what, what is Randy Quaid doing right now? I, I don't know, but I don't he think would, he's doing he much. would be perfect for this movie or this this oh. TV show. I'm get, back. Get Randy Quaid in this thing. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, with clown makeup. Yeah, yeah. Just really just go with it. One of the things the show really needs is some humor. Yeah, because like it was just so dry and like very straight up boring. So it's called Invasion. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you said they shot it down and they weren't too sure well, why. It was one of them. I know, but they're like, they could crash. Like, why were these guys here? Um, in the final three episodes, they introduced the fact that the aliens were terraforming this whole time. Yeah, See, they, 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 were, that, but... they were terraforming Earth so that they could then just live there, I guess. Well, he has what you do. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. I said earlier. It's like mm-hmm. you come to another planet to terraform it. Yeah, apparently Jeez. it's pretty easy. Yeah. I've seen it in multiple movies. As long, does, as, as long as you have the technology to get there to begin with, you should be able to terraform it. No I mean, if you can figure out how to get off a of flat Earth into another flat <laughs> Earth, <laughs> then you can probably turn it into your own flat Earth. Yeah, we just got told, well, the Earth is hollow. I have a better, my brain can mm-hmm. process There's that. dinosaurs in there. Yeah, it's that's hollow where they with all dinosaurs. Went. But you can't have something that's hollow if the Earth is flat. Well, you... You don't understand anything, obviously. Obviously, I don't. Yeah, you don't understand. Yeah, they can have like 
caves and shit, yeah. you know, yeah. uh-huh. just because you think flat. Just shut up. I mean, it could be <laughs> something you don't even understand yet. Just shut yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> you right. It's like a tesseract. <laughs> All right, guys. So what was our overall impression of season one? God. Ho- really? You're asking us this question? One yes. star crap fest. It's a, we, we already did this. It's a terrible show. Yeah. And I don't want to watch season two, but I like hanging out with you for some reason. <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're going to watch it so we can talk about it. And if it's good. I, I hope it's awesome. I hope they. I hope they put card season. I, I suggest you guys but, watching it together. N- no, terrible is better in groups. Yeah, it, it I agree. Is. It's, it's, it's hard too to hard. watch. It's, my, it's hard, hard to watch. enough for us to get together today to record. My mm. my real life schedule does not allow for that. Not right real now. life schedule. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I get that. Yeah, so. worlds colliding. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't come over to my house once working. a year. Right. Once a year, Jude. So, what were your final thoughts on God, season one? I hate this show. I'm upset that we're watching season two. I don't care that it's yeah. fun to talk about it with y'all because that means that prior to that I would have had to have watched the show and the show takes a year off of my life every episode <laughs> yep. I swear it takes part of my soul out of my body like in the Little Mermaid cartoon where her voice comes out and it's just gone that's my soul every time I watch we're, this show we're only watching this is be- because we we promised our, our chat people that we would that's it it's the only reason <sighs> and um Promise fulfilled. I, yeah. Let's get new we, people. We, we, we try to keep our word. <laughs> we try to keep our word. Yeah. Yeah. So. It, it's not always about you. No. Well, yeah. I think we said if there's a season two, we're not watching it more times than we yeah, said, we all right, fine, we'll watch season two. But then two. Alex promised. He, he said something somewhere. He doesn't speak for the he, trees. He, he, uh, he uh, obligated us to watch this show. And... Um, How's the production Here value? Is the production value it's excellent? Because yeah. it's Apple. It's yeah. they very good. Dump it's buckets high. of money. In yeah, there. yeah, yeah. They have it's, money it's, to throw at it. It's five star movie quality effects. Oh, I'm it's, sure. Except it's way too dark. Except it's well, like, like like dark in the sense that when you're watching the screen, you can't tell what's on yeah. it. I like those shows. I have no idea what's happening. But it's just time. it's just terribly poorly. It's it's a, it's written by AI. It's it, you can totally tell. It's and gross. I'm so it's upset awful. that this is probably one of the reasons why like we're not going to get new content because all of the writers are are on strike. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um and but this got in there uh early enough that this is going to be the only fucking thing that we get for the next 2 years because everyone's on strike and not working. Right they're now. still on strike, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like As of today, they're still they're, yeah, there's they're no still resolution at all. They can yeah. stay on strike for a while. I think so. Me. I I'd these, like these, to see these, Hollywood these are the people knock that, down a peg. These yeah. are the people yeah. that yeah. made like yeah. She-Hulk. And they want more fucking money. Yeah, I know. Fuck you. I didn't even watch that. It's awful. Yeah, but like you, the you people know? who are doing the work for these studios and the actors like they're not being paid fairly. Like, have you seen? Um, fairly, I follow a bunch of people uh, I, in a bunch of shows <laughs> on Instagram, and they have posted like, "Here's my paycheck." Like, uh, Kimiko from uh, The Boys, she's like, "I get paid this amount per episode." She doesn't even talk. So yeah, what's so hard about that? She's Still on lines. a major show, and she doesn't have a, a livable wage. She's waitressing on the side, huh. and she's a star in a show on uh, TV. She's not a star. She's the girlfriend of a sidekick. She's an awesome character. I didn't say that. <laughs> she's the girlfriend of a sidekick. No lines. She has lines. True. But she's Wolverine. So yeah. that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I feel bad that no, that everyone's not making a million dollars. Right. But then if everyone made a million dollars, who's making a million dollars? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, well, the price of uh, all these platforms. So, there's a hair on me somewhere. It's Is that what's happening? Because yeah. I'm... <laughs> You're like putting a show on over here. And I'm like, I know. okay. I know. It's somewhere. It's Somebody somewhere. cover this woman up. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> you don't know what like, this on. show really sucks. <laughs> I just don't know why. <laughs> Somewhere you guys still watching it? Oh it my feels god! Like a spider. One of the the funniest <laughs> bits of watching rewatching our invasion reviews was just like how hard both Alex and Vader were hitting on you the entire time. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird. I was hitting on you. What? Yeah, you were drinking uh, Jack Daniels or something. Oh, it made you real horned up. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> you want a pump fart? <laughs> no, I'm good, thanks. You're just snuffing rhino horn and just doing Jack Daniels shots up your butt. Just like, everything's crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> the world is turned upside down. Somebody's going to do something to my dick right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah. Uh, you know, especially when watching this show. Oh, right? boy. Uh, but yeah, this show, super bad. Not looking forward to season two. But uh, for the next uh, two months, this is what we're going to be doing. Oh, God That's okay. damn it. Well, we're also doing Ahsoka. <laughs> Ahsoka. Oh, God. What? 
Uh, they really released that for Saturdays. Yeah, it starts oh. Saturday. They really released it. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to be good. I know. Okay. Right. But it's okay. I mean, is it okay? <laughs> You've got to watch something. I, I will is tell it you. Okay? It's what we do. I, I will Disney tell you that raping my I, I feel like Ahsoka will be better than Invasion. Oh, 100%. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. There's going to be sword luck. fighting and stuff. Yeah. 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 Rosario yeah. Dawson's hot. It's fine. <laughs> I get it. It's, it's at least. I can at least watch one there's episode. There's some lightsabers. And yeah, I mean, I'll probably, w- I'll probably, unfortunately, watch it. Yeah, I know you will. I didn't watch Obi Wan. You're, you're better for it. I do. I was told that multiple <laughs> times. Yeah, I was told that multiple times. Yeah. Obi Wan, I still haven't recovered from that. These are the assholes on strike, thinking they want more money. For, yeah, for, for giving us shit. Well, you know, COVID. COVID gi- I'm going to co- give COVID you some did shit. a lot of things. I'm going to give you <laughs> some shit with with peanuts in it. You're gonna pay more. For you can't the give peanuts. peanuts. It kills children. <laughs> oh, did you want a cup for your shitty peanuts? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. extra. Oh. <laughs> All right. Speaking of shit, we can't wait to start talking about this show again. Uh, uh, starting every Thursday, we will be dropping our reviews for this show. Uh, be sure to tune in and be sure to watch our previous reviews so you're all caught up, so you know what we're talking about. Wait, wait, wait. They didn't give us screeners. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys Nobody are pretty good with that. that. I, want some, I want some screeners so I can just no. watch it all at once. Get it like you're We're going to record all these episodes yeah. in one day. Just get, <laughs> knock it out. Get it oh, <laughs> just marathon it. I'm sorry. And then at the end, we stab <laughs> ourselves in the stomach <laughs> and twist it. Kabuki. <laughs> you, you mean Harry Kabuki? Kabuki is Kabuki. Japanese theater. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? And you haven't even have been drinking. <laughs> I know. Cop, I'm all caffeined up. Jacked out of your mind. Ah. I'm gonna kabuki myself. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nice. That's cute. Yeah. All right, what, everyone. Stay salty. We'll see you uh for the first episode of Invasion Season Two. May God have mercy on our souls. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this podcast, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and comment below on your favorite video as well. That goes a long way with helping us boost our channel and get out there in front of more people. And it lets uh, YouTube know that we're doing something right. And if you want to catch us live, we go live two times a week, once on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific time and on Tuesdays at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. So join us there in the chat. We will see you on the live stream. Stay salty.